if I could conjure the perfect preschool math curriculum, this is what I'd come up with. Hi guys, I'm Kathleen Lewis. I'm a homeschool graduate and homeschool mom to two. I have a gifted four-year-old and a toddler now as well. So when my four-year-old was just barely three, I have been having a really hard time finding a good math curriculum for him. I did not know he was gifted yet, but I could tell he really enjoyed the math material I was presenting to him, but there was no curriculum out there to help me teach it. Then I stumbled across this and yes, this was the big winner. So before we get into actually looking at the book, let me tell you about the methodology behind it. The person who wrote this book was a former elementary math educator. She um, decided to homeschool her son and she wanted something that was a good way to play with math for her preschooler at that time. Most of the curriculum out there was very formal and regimented and not good with laying the foundational concepts of what math actually um, is built on, is, is its strength, logic and reasoning. Um, and it was no fun. The curriculum out there was no fun. She wanted her son to fall in love with learning and particularly see how fun math could be. So she wrote this, whoops. So she wrote this for her son. And yeah, it is phenomenal. It's entirely play-based, no worksheets in this whatsoever. So developmentally appropriate, not expecting the kids to write. There's not a bunch of drills you do in here and it does not just belabor numbers. It grows. Um, a great sense of math for the kids, which I'll get to in a minute when I show you the book. Additionally, it teaches you as the parent everything you need to know to teach these math concepts to your kids. So there, this book is written to the parent, is small, and there's a lengthy introduction in here teaching you the concepts that you will be in turn teaching your child. So one of my favorite things in this introduction is right here. To be able to count accurately, a child has to first learn the order of the counting words, one, two, three, etc. You have that you have to count each item once and only once, that you can count objects in any order, so beginning of the commutative property there, and that any kind of thing can be counted, including jumping and claps and things like that. And also, very importantly, the last number you say is the quantity represented there. So those are all things you need to develop within your child before they ever can accurately count and do addition and have number sense. So the introduction here is great about that. She talks about the importance of supertizing, the importance of... Um, the importance of following your child and knowing when to go on to the next level. And she has great guides in here. Plus, in addition to that, she does not have you um, go out and buy a bunch of extra stuff. Everything, she makes you use stuff from your house um, and makes it just fun for your kid, for them to enjoy. Let's move on to the fast facts, the questions you all definitely want to know the answers to. First off, what is the cost? It is insanely cheap for a curriculum. The price on the back is about 20 bucks. And this is all you really need. There is no hidden cost. Like I said, you don't have to go out and buy supplies. She has a list of things for you to use around your house and you can always modify as needed. There are a few things she requires that you don't have in your house, like a tin frame, but the back here is perforated for you to tear that out. So there really is no extra cost other than this book. Second question, who is this curriculum best for? What kind of kid, what kind of family is this curriculum best for? Really, anyone can use this. Now, there is one small exception for that. If you are looking for something that is very scheduled, as in do this activity this day, and then Tuesday do this, and then Wednesday do, do, do this, and it's got a nine month plan for you for preschool, it's not in here. And that is intentional. And that is a also a big bonus a big plus of and strength of this curriculum. It teaches you how to go at your child's pace as they acquire these skills, as they acquire this knowledge, because every child is different. So if you start this when your child's three, you may go slower than if you start this when your child is four for preschool. And that is again, intentional. Um, in case you're wondering, this is not religious. This is not secular, it is completely neutral curriculum. Third question, how much time is involved in this curriculum? Really anywhere from a minute to 10 minutes, all depending on your child's interest and how long they want to do the activity. 
Fourth question, what kind of learner is this best for? Any, it is a great hands-on, so kinesthetic learner, auditory learner as they're listening to you explain things and also visual because you're using great examples, great things for them to look at and manipulate. Fifth question, ease of use. How easy is this to use? Is it open go? No, because I said this is a book for you as the parent to read and it teaches you how to teach your child the math concepts. So definitely read the introduction. If you don't read the introduction, you will understand any of the structure in here. And then from there, you want to read the activity ahead of time. So maybe once a week, you'll be reading through activities um, and it'll take you probably maximum 15 minutes to understand what you're going to be doing that week. And then from there, she does guide you step by step into understanding, is my child ready to move on or do we need to circle back to some of these activities to build up these concepts? Sixth question, are there any cons? I really can't think of any. Maybe if you want to schedule, but as I said, this is a, that's a strength of this curriculum. Um, not a con, in my opinion. And seven questions. Since I talk about gifted education here on this channel, is this curriculum good for a gifted kid? Yes, it is excellent for a gifted kid. Of course, with qualifications there. My son, I had not identified as gifted yet when I got this for him shortly after he turned three. We, I, I realized he knew about half of the material in here already and we blazed through the rest in a month. Um, so I would say you can start some of these concepts as early as two if you already know your child is gifted um, or just be prepared to go fast as they learn the material and catch on quickly. Okay, without further ado, let's turn the camera around so you can see inside this. Okay, let's take a look inside. Now, just a note, Kate Snow has been writing more curriculum for the elementary. So if you love her methodology here, definitely check out the um, kindergarten, first grade, and I think she has written up to second grade at this, at this time. One thing I want to point out here from the table of contents of her methodology, it says counting to five. That is learning basically how to verbally organize the counting. So that is practicing your counting and understanding the counting concepts and then you have counting to 10 and then you have learning to identify visually this is two this is five only after you have all of that understood and you can subitize or be able to know instantly how many fingers you're holding up all the way up to 10 that is when she finally introduces numerals written numerals and then you compare amounts and then finally you get into some very introductory um, addition and subtraction stories. So contrary to the way most preschool math is designed, she phenomenally starts with important counting foundation, important um, number understanding, getting a good number sense before you ever get to this is the number one. Because identifying a symbol and matching it to um, as a represent, representation to a quantity is an advanced um, mental concept that most preschoolers do not have the ability to do until they're a little bit older and that is research back. So great um, start for her with how she has everything mapped. Okay, in her preface, she tells her story about her journey with her son and then the introduction. Again, you must read this as the educator because this teaches her methodology and teaches you how to teach her math. As I mentioned, she talks about what a child needs to do before they can accurately count. She introduces subitizing and what that is like and how she teaches it. Um, from then going on to recognizing numerals, as I said, comparing quantities, and then beginning addition and sub subtraction using a 10 frame. Um, she gives you a great guide here on when to start this book and how to do the activities to follow your child's pacing. Again, she talks about the very few things you will need, probably just to put in a box to have on hand. Um, but you can easily grab things um, throughout the week. If you guys have been enjoying what you've been seeing so far, bump that like button and let me know it. Since everyone starts with chapter one on reviews, I'm going to skip to chapter two to show you this. 
So each chapter starts with an overview to the parent, which you'll want to read to know what's going on. And then she has um, numbered activities. Now these are play, these are games. This is not, again, writing and worksheets. This is not intended for you to sit down at a table as something formal. Do this on the floor, do this in the playroom um, or at a small Ikea kids table. So the first activity she has here for learning how to count to 10 is hide and seek. Um, just demonstrating and patterning for your child over and over again helping them memorize the list of counting to 10. And then you move on to the skill of counting 10 toys in a line. So again, this is something you do in the playroom. And then of course you use counting fingers, um, how to scout, count scattered objects, and oh, you can count them in any order and you still get the same quantity. She has other fun games like playing store with pennies. Um, treasure hunts, finding groups of 10 objects around the house. And then at the end of each chapter, she has a section, is my child ready to move on? So for chapter two, if your child is ready to move on to chapter three, when she can count a set up to 10 objects confidently and systematically, there's no hesitation here. And she can count 10 objects out from a larger pile. So she has a big pile of animal crackers and she can count 10 of them out to a separate pile. If your child can't reliably count to 10 yet, then give her more practice for a couple weeks. And then she gives you some great practical advice on how to make this go further, like counting steps every time you go upstairs or look for pictures to count in your child's picture book. Or one thing I did was counting how many pushes I did on the swing. And then to show you what she does with supervising, again, there's the chapter overview. And then now you I spy numbers. So thinking of quantity, for example, there are two pictures on the wall. There is two chairs at the table. There are um, three plates on the table, that kind of thing. And then again, you get into more play activities. Peekaboo fingers was one of the things my son absolutely loved. This is an introduction to um, addition and subtraction. So you see you have four fingers up and then your child says there's one finger down. So teaching them four and one total to make five. And that is um, by design a, a key activity there. Again, counters on the five frame, teaching them that there's two missing spaces and while you're teaching them that this is the quantity three. So great activities here with the design of where you're going um, facing forward with that. And again, when is my child ready to move on? Now in the appendix, as I mentioned, she has some great things for you to just pull out as perforated. So here's a five frame. You don't have to go find one or buy one. Here's a game board that she uses, number cards that she uses in games. And again, a 10 frame. So everything you need is right here in this book. I have mentioned a few times in this video the research back method that she used for this. If you're interested in more research about child development and, and what toddlers and preschoolers need to know when, be sure to subscribe because I've got more videos coming out for you. 